Hello, this video is a demonstration of how to open the System76 Galago Pro, which is also, which is a rebranded Clevo, and it's also sold by Sager, and I'll post the, the relevant uh, URLs and model numbers on the, on the video. You'll notice I'm doing it on an anti-static mat. The standard disclaimers apply. Uh, if you should uh, take your own precautions. Make sure you do it properly. The, your model might be different from mine, so don't assume that everything I do will work on yours. However, this would be a good starting point given that there's I couldn't find any other documentation. The first step is to remove the keyboard. To remove the keyboard, Go to the bottom, there are two screws here and here that have the keyboard note on them. Okay, so those are the two screws required to remove the keyboard. You'll also notice a small hole there. That's to push the keyboard out. So you have to put the keyboard, the computer sideways and open it so the keyboard has somewhere to go. I use a, a wood stick to push it. And that's all you want to hear, that one click. So you heard that one click, so we've loosened up one of the snaps that's holding the keyboard in place. Mm -hmm. Now you use, I use a plastic guitar pick, but you might also have various sorts of sponge, spudgers that uh, can remove it. You want to use a spudger that's softer than the material you're working on. So carefully go around the edge, you need to loosen the snaps. There are cables inside holding, connecting the, the buttons on the keyboard. So we want to be careful when we lift it up. You can see the two cables there. So you need to release those cables. The smaller ones released by pushing the gray plastic part forward. And now that cable is released. And the larger key, the larger cable is released by let's see, by pushing, pulling the white part up a little bit, maybe. Let's see. Uh, by flipping up, the uh, the black part swivels upwards, rotates upwards, and then the keyboard's out. So carefully put the keyboard to one side. Now we can remove screws. Under the keyboard area, you see they're labeled M2 times 4. There's one here, one here, one here, and where's the other one? Well, I will find it before we remove it. So here goes one. I can only see three screws there. So now we can close this and turn it over. Now we need to remove the screws from the edge of the bottom of the case. As 
far as I can tell, all of these screws are the same size, so there's no reason to sort them. screw doesn't want to come out so I'm going to turn it upside down and carefully give it a shake All right. still doesn't want to come out so I'm just going to try to open it And there we go. 